All right, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Here's your two favorite mechanics. Back at it again. We're back at it. We're back that's at it. That's right. The world car <laughs> garage. Or what are we, yeah, that's what we're calling it. So we have moved outdoors. It's a little bit warmer today. And um, we're going to show you what we're going to do today. Uh, so we will see you here in a second. So we got now Mr. Clay here. He's about ready to take a good sip out of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gasoline we purchased on January 16th of 2023. So it has been in the tank now for what, about two months, two and a half months. Two and a half months. And look at the amber color this has turned in. This is just unreal. This was yellow, yellow before. Let me see if I can get it here. Now you can see it. It looks like aging whiskey to me, right? <laughs> bourbon. Urine. <laughs> Kentucky <laughs> to Kentucky bourbon. And we have started actually now to take the warm-up regulator apart, right? Yeah. And um, so this is just to give you an idea of what this stuff looks like, it, what we found inside here. This white stuff is the ethanol which has evaporated out of there. And we got quite some sludge in here. Let me go back to one. And you can see this. This is how these parts look like. It. This is what's coming out of there. I'm surprised that Clay was even able to start the vehicle with this. And uh, take a look at this. You want to get that little poker there and pull that out. We have this on video. This is the evidence. This is what this stuff looks like. What we found in here. So... This is where we are. And at the moment, we're actually stuck. Clay is trying to to get the um, two halves because that is the two, what did they call that thing here? The two um, component or whatever warm-up regulator, which has the upper and the middle part and the, and the lower part to it. And we're trying to get the old gasket separated without damaging the housing. We also started already our uh, ultrasonic cleaner and we put the acid in there, the citric acid, which I have here. Let me just show you this. We got everything in bags. And what we did is we got the Missy dispense acid. We haven't put this in here, this stuff here. And I took the lid off. I can take the lid off. Here it comes. And I filled the lid up to not quite the top with this stuff here with this crystalline powder and we dissolved it and then we tested it and it says 2.2 pH right mm -hmm. but I stuck my finger in there and it doesn't feel like 2.2 I didn't put my tongue in it mm -hmm. but um, that's uh, what we got so we're gonna start dissolving this here as soon as we get this thing you separated then we're gonna tune back in Anything you want to say, Clay? Pray for us to get this separated. <laughs> yeah, it like without it's damaging be a job. it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, is we ordered the kit to rebuild from this fellow in Germany, and um, I had his business card here. He is on eBay, and um, because he usually sends out the citric acid with it, but it wasn't in this package, which wasn't a, not a big deal because we have citric acid. So we used that, what we had, and we used only very little on it. We did a test here on a piece of copper just to see if this would discolor this. This copper looked like this here. And this is basically what it starts to look like in our acid bath, what we have here. So we're gonna be fine. And we will tune in here in a few minutes. All right, now we're rolling. I'm saying now we're rolling. <laughs> All righty. So we got now this here in the, the mixer here. I said that as I uh, came out pretty dirty. We still got a couple screws in there. And uh, But our thing just basically came apart with this here. We couldn't get it apart. And we didn't want to wedge a screwdriver in you anything sharp. So we just laid it in here and that came out all clear. The one part which is causing us a little bit of headaches is these two inlets and outlet for the um, fuel coming in and going back out to the fuel distributor. And it seems like it that these little tiny holes in there are still a little bit clogged up. So he 
um, Clay got the wet cleaner, is this? Awesome, totally awesome. Yeah, that is like a citrus based, citric based cleaner, I believe too. Let me see on the side if you rotate this here. Does it tell us what it actually is? No. But this stuff is pretty good. We get this. He gets this at the dollar store, right? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And uh, that cleans these things up. So what happened now is that the citric acid basically dissolved the hardened ethanol residue, which is this brownish stuff. Where did we put that lower pan from that other airflow meter just now? Oh. See, the car is here now in the garage. And uh, we got everything here piled up. You mean the dirty one? The dirty yeah, one? the dirty one. I wanted to show this real quick. Yeah. See, this is what this looks like. Let me go under the light here. Here we can see this is the fuel distributor sits on top here, like you can see it here. If I put this next to it, we had a second one here. And then basically when the fuel distributor starts leaking out of the piston, it drips down into this vicinity right underneath. And this is what ethanol actually looks like it when it is dried out. And now what happens with the citric acid, what we found out today, is that this will turn this into a kind of a brownish mass, a little bit gooey, and that yellow stuff he got, the cleaner dissolves it fully then. So it is basically liquefied. This comes loose from the citric acid and the uh, other cleaner basically then just flushes it out and it is completely clean. So we just wanted to show you this. So we got this here now all cleaned up too. We have this now adjusted where it goes nicely centered and in the zero position. And we got our little ball here to perfectly run. This is a needle nose bearing basically with needles in there and they were completely stuck. Then to unstuck them, you have to drive the pin out. You have to disassemble the whole unit. The bearings and the balls on both sides, which they have, they got like, what a, what are they, a quarter inch in size, probably these little balls? Yeah. Yeah, a quarter inch. They were stuck that this thing, when you pushed it down, got stuck in the position wherever it was in, it wouldn't come back up. So we took them out, we drove the pin out, took the whole thing out, cleaned everything out, and reassembled it, made sure that our system here was working properly the way we needed to. And that's now the case, and then we cleaned this whole thing basically up, and now we can actually start assembling this. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow, if we get everything cleaned and rebuilt, we should be able to start the car tomorrow afternoon and see what we got there. If we can move it, we got some extra um, ATF, automatic transmission fluid. We got Dexron 3. And uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. And then we see where we are. Do you want to say something? Well, he's going to Los Angeles, so yep. he's going to be gone Wednesday. Yeah, for the weekend till come back Sunday. Yeah. Go and see the Lakers game. Go Lakers. Go Lakers. <laughs> oh, well, there we go again. Well, anyway, guys, we're hungry. Are you hungry? Let's go eat. We're going to go eat. <laughs> we talk to you guys later, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>